All right, now we're going to do the leg. I like to break the leg up into groups of muscles. Okay, you have two main groups of muscles. Well, one group on the front, the anterior muscles, and one group on the back, the posterior muscles. These are your extensors and your flexors of the knee, and there's four things in each group. Then you have your abductors on the inner th on the outer thigh, your adductors on the inner with thigh, the anterior aspect of the thigh. Now these muscles are called your quadriceps muscles. Quad means four, so you have four muscles in your quadriceps group. The one that goes straight up and down on the femur is called your rectus femoris. Remember, rectus means straight. It's on the femur, rectus femoris. Your second and third muscles in this group are very big. They're vast muscles, so we call those vastus muscles. You have one on the medial aspect, and you have one on the lateral aspect. So vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. Rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. If we take off our rectus femoris, we can see the muscle between the medialis and the lateralis, and this is called the vastus intermedius. So that's our quadriceps group. There's four. Now we'll go to our abductors, the muscles that abduct the thigh, move the leg away from the body. This one right here is called your tensor fascia lata. It's connected to this big, thick tendon called the IT band. So this is tensor fascia lata. And then you have your gluteus maximus, which is also a lateral rotator and an extensor of the thigh, but it's an abductor as well. And then you have your gluteus medius right here between tensor fascia lata and your gluteus maximus. So we had four quadriceps, three abductors. If we move to the posterior thigh, again we have a group of four. On the back, these muscles we typically call the hamstrings. They oppose the quadriceps. They're about as big, and there's four different muscles here, or four parts anyway. On the lateral side, you have this muscle, which is a bicep. It has two heads, so this is the bicep femoris. This is the long head, This most of what you can see here. And then over here on the very side, the edge of the knee, you see the short head. And if I take the long head off, you can see the short head a little bit better underneath of here. So this is the biceps femoris short head. So that's two parts, biceps femoris long head, biceps femoris short head. And then on the medial side, you have two separate muscles. This is semitendinosus and then semimembranosus you can see on either side. Now these muscles are on top of each other. The one on top is skinny. The one underneath is fat, or flatter, rather. So this is like looking at a hot dog in a bun, with the semitendinosus being the hot dog and the semimembranosus being the bun, which is why you can see the membranosus on either side of the tendinosus. Now we can look at the adductors the adductors, two of, well, one of, kind of one and a half of those are the strap muscles, which are your thin, flat muscles. This is gracilis, and the other is this long, skinny one called sartorius. These muscles come together in a V and will come over and insert on the tibial tuberosity in front of the knee. Then you have, in between those two muscles, your ad ductor longus, AD ductor longus here. And then all of this other muscle here is your AD ductor magnus. It's gigantic. Takes up almost the entire inner thigh, so we call it magnus, AD ductor magnus. So gracilis, sartorius, your strap muscles, thin like belts, make a V. In between, adductor longus underneath adductor magnus. All right, moving on to the lower leg. The lower leg can div be divided up into four groups. You've got anterior tibial muscles, 
posterior tibial muscles, but you have a superficial group and a deep group, and then you have lateral muscles. So if we look at the anterior muscles first, here's your tibia bone. You have three muscles here on the anterior part of the tibia. One, two, three. This one is your tibialis anterior, directly anterior to the tibia. This one is your extensor digitorum longus, goes to the digits of the toe, the foot, digits of the foot. And in between these two muscles, you have this one right here, which is the extensor for the big toe, the extensor hallucis longus. Remember, the big toe is the hallux, the thumb was the pollux, and just like in the arm, our extensors were on the side of the arm with the nails. The same is true in the lower extremity. The extensor muscles are on the same side of the foot with the nails. So these are all extensors. Tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and extensor digitorum longus. If we look at the lateral part of the lower leg, we see t our two lateral muscles here. Fibularis, because the fibula is right here.